Hello folks, uh, welcome. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm doing another, uh, this is a special report on my uh, X channel, also it's going to be on my Fango page as well. You know, uh, this is about uh, stupidity in America in entertainment. Uh, you know, it's just amazing to me uh, that I was just so sick, I get so sick of remakes and Hollywood garbage dominating everything. Well, you know, with uh, Josh Whedon's wonderful The Avengers and uh, his wonderful Cabin in the Woods, and there's some other good stuff coming out. I was like thinking, you know, there's hope. But again, once again, America, America lets me down. There's a new movie called The Hunger Games. It made like $152 million uh, on its special debut weekend. And, uh, you know, it's a, not a sequel stuff. It's the highest blah, blah, blah ever. Basically, it's a ripoff of a far superior Japanese movie called Battle Royale, where in that movie, the kids are shown to die violently, and it's very disturbing, and you feel kind of sick and queasy when you watch that movie. Not the Hunger Games. No, sir, you don't feel bad when, uh, when uh, you watch those kids get killed. Boom, they move right on to the next. People cheer for, you know, they're cheering for the everybody to win and everything. And isn't that just great? Kids killing kids. America roots for that. Yeah. Like I said, once again, stupid America. Why does America take to stupid movies like this? You know, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and then of course there's these god-awful remakes. The American Ring, um, you know... 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street. I, I mean, and the TV show wasn't even all that great. But, you know, the movie was even worse. G.I. Joe, the A-Team. Uh, I mean, you know, people keep taking of one stupid, idiotic movie after another. They won't go see the original. Oh, no. They have to go see your remake. We're like, Sean, why don't they go see other garbage like, I don't know, John Carter? Simple. John Carter is not a ripoff of nothing. In fact, uh, you could pretty much say that everything else is a ripoff of John Carter because that movie basically started like they've been trying to film that movie for 90 years, not 9, but 90, 90 years now. And it's hair, it's terrible. It's got bad uh, special uh, computer effects, which you can tell. You know, like Transformers and all these other wooden movies that have uh, bad characters and bad dialogue, like The Hunger Games. But what's different is John Carter doesn't rip off anything. You know, Americans like, we just got to have our own, uh, we just got to rip off something like the American Ring or Battle Royale, you know, and there are even critics, like in USA Today, go find the review, who said that in the Hunger Games, the violence was tamed and dumbed and watered down so it wouldn't offend or hurt anyone. And by the way, uh, people say that the Hunger Games, uh, this is from uh, the New York Daily News com. The Hunger Games finds conservative and liberal fans flocking to the movies. But, you know, uh, uh, it says it's an anti-war tale. But really, what is it? It's an epic centered on a woman defending her family from excesses of big government and a predatory pop culture. You know, that's you know why the conservatives are eating up this movie. You know, it's, it's big government control. In fact, you're like, why else would conservatives love this movie? There was someone by uh, Mark Whittington who did a, uh, this is from uh, Yahoo.com, The Hunger Games. Why Katniss, the girl, is like Sarah Palin. Um, consider the main character Katniss is female, lives in a rural community, comes from a working class background, and an expert hunter and outdoor woman. Moreover, she has a strong moral character, the capacity of self-sacrifice, and is not corrupted by the luxuries presented to her in the capital. And also, briefly, she shows signs of being the Nazis leader of a freedom movement. The aspects made uh, clear in the later books will eventually include uh, Katniss clashing with the establishment rebel leaders, just like Sarah Palin rubs establishment Republicans the, long, the wrong way. So, you know, I, I, can, I can see why conservatives love this movie so much, and they can relate to that girl. You know, I, I really can. I, I, I mean, you know, it, it's sickening. It's sickening. Movies are supposed to be art. You're supposed to use your brain. You know, why won't people take the smart, intelligent, you know, like I said, uh, Battle Royale, the movie that really is about the government, taking a bunch of kids, putting them on a line, forcing them to kill each other. That was first. That was the original movie. 
The only people who mention that is Entertainment Weekly. They mention that. No one else does. But, you know, it's just America just really loves their stupidity. And they hate originality. How many people do you really think when the artist comes out on DVD? It's black and white and it's silent. I hear so many people over where I work. I don't like black and white movies. I don't like silent movies. I don't like foreign movies because I have to read. Oh, but yet you don't mind texting on your little cell phone in the movie theaters and at home while you're watching on DVD or on demand or however the hell you watch your movies. You know... Oh, you don't mind reading and uh, watching it? Yeah, let me guess, America. You're too stupid to multitask. You can't read subtitles and watch a movie, too. I can. Michael can. My brother, he can do that. We're smart, see? We're intelligent people. We don't mind on watching original ideals and original movies. But, you know, it's not just movies. Uh, television shows. Uh, USA Today and uh, uh, the Metro Mix New York did stories on rednecks, swamp TV, and grittier reality. Um, when swamp people's Troy uh, Lander uh, grab their guns and go gator hunting in Louisiana, or Skipper Bovini's takes uh, city slickers neck deep in Oklahoma waterways on hillbilly hand fishing, uh, or Ron uh, Shirley and his repro crew uh, are assailed by an angry man armed with a flamethrower on lizard lip towing, millions of Americans are watching. That's right, millions of Americans are watching. In fact, these shows, these, 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 these stupid uh, redneck hillbilly shows are, are gaining a very large popularity among the male audience from ages 18 to 35. I mean, you know, the, the guys are even saying, we're 70% uh, male skewing and our uh, median age is uh, uh, 48 to 49 next to sports. We're only number two, only behind ESPN and cable for men. They are second behind ESPN. It shows like, uh, you know, uh, those stupid uh, buy you billionaires and my big uh, redneck wedding vacation or whatever. White men love this stuff. A lot of men are saying, you know, everybody just wants to be a great outdoor. It makes them closer to nature. Yeah. I thought CMT was supposed to be about music. Yeah, CMT is supposed to be about music. Well, let's face it. They're, it's the, not they're the new MTV now. Yeah. It's, not, it, it's, it's just not about getting back to nature. It's stupid simplicity. You know, people doing the negative stereotypes and, and you know, the, the, the white southerners who <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> Bunch of morons. Isn't it any wonder why America is last in education uh, compared to so many other uh, uh, Hell, even third world countries, there are some countries that outdo us in education. Totally sick. Totally sick. You, you actually expect some countries that have a lot of socialist uh, values like Norway, Sweden, Australia, and them that have more socialist education and stuff to kick our ass. But even some under, I mean, no offense, but you know, these poor underdeveloped countries even outdo us. That's kind of sad. And even though I'm not the biggest fan in the world of uh, the person who runs this website, uh, Trigger Man, I really don't like him. But boy, he brings up a good point of a group called J-A-W-G-A -A, Boys, that's pronounced Georgia Boys, uh, reinforces negative stereotypes in their new song, Mud Jugs. They're four white rappers who uh, talk about spitting, you know, uh, they're trying to do Southern these days. Uh, they're taking uh, your pride, your heritage, your farms, your music, your family life, sense of community, and replacing it with a piece of molded plastic for you to vomit your carcinogen and your refuse after you are blessed your oral cavity with a sweet gift of cancer. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is one of the most dumb, stupid, idiotic videos ever. But, but you know what the sad thing is, folks? Their videos on YouTube, right and high, receives over one and a half million hits. Rolling like a redneck, almost a million. The tremendous exposure for these four guys with bad rhymes and worse taste, backed by a drum machine, and with this exposure should come to scrutiny. But, you, you know, it doesn't. People, you know, people used to be ashamed of being stupid. Now they lather in it. You know, politics, it doesn't matter what area, you know, uh, no wonder uh, they're cutting. Uh, here in Indiana, uh, my bitch Mitch cut $300 from Indiana. 300 million. 300 million, yeah, three, excuse me, $300 million from Indianapolis education. $300 million from Indiana's education. And you might as well just cut the arts and uh, 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 fund out the door. 
You know, we have no culture. We don't. Look at the Japanese culture, how wonderful it is. Look at the uh, Egyptian culture, the pyramids. You know, what the hell do we have like that? You know, honestly, American Idol, you know, I, I mean, seriously, it's sickening. Nothing another, says nothing says culture like Jennifer Lopez and a beehive. And another great, why do we watch bad movies? Uh, this is from uh, a website uh, uh, called... Um, just a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the yeah. small writing. Yeah, such small writing. The sheaf. Uh, the sheaf. Uh, uh, dot com. Uh, this is you know it, it's it's from the sheaf. Dot com. This guy talks about why uh, so many people are are you know are are so in love with bad movies like Transformers and stuff. You know it, it says uh, can bring out 150 people in the recent uh, poem when our uh, uncle. Uh, who recalls past lives only brings out 15. And the guy makes a great point right here. Um, there's nothing wrong with a guilty pleasure or enjoying a bad movie once in a while, but I fear we've entered a time when a self-professed uh, cinephile would rather watch The Room and Citizen Kane. If that's the case, I think we need to take a step back and seriously uh, rethink why we watch movies, because the day The Room is chosen over Citizen Kane is a sad day for movies. Well, you know what? It's a damn sad day for movies, because they will pick the Transformers, put Adam Sandler in a movie, well, uh, you know, Jack and Jill, or whatever the hell it is. Or, like I said, it's going to be a ripoff or remake. You know, or something like that. No matter how stupid and bad and trash it is, they'll pick it over a class act like Citizen Kane. Or uh, a wonderful movie by Jet Li called... Uh, Ocean's Heaven. Ocean's Heaven. Thank you, Michael. Ocean's Heaven. I, I, you know, he's a dying man with cancer who has to take care of an autistic boy. Or what about that wonderful movie, Bully, that's fighting for a PG-13 rating? You know, these movies I make small, but boy, you put a stupid ass, dumbass transformer or crap. I mean, that's what. Bad stereotypes, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, it's an old fart. Did it, I could not believe old fart talked about, and I, I, I don't mean to be mean about that uh, uh, stupid, and I mean this stupid old woman who would rather die than take Obamacare to get because she was believing all that junk on Fox News. Why that's, she was brainwashed. I know. She, she, you know that's what's wrong with this country. They, they don't want to use their intelligence anymore. They don't want to think. They don't want to use their brain. You know, and, and I, I really worry about this country. I really do. It seems people are proud of being stupid. So go ahead. You know, like I said, it made $152 million. Go see your stupid Hunger Games. It's a cheap, watered down, let's exploit, kill children. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is. It's basically showing children as entertainment. They water the violence down, even from the books. It's just a cheap, chintzy ripoff of Battle Royale. For those of you who go see this movie, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of seeing stupid garbage like Hunger Games and more of this crap and more American remakes. They've already done uh, a remake of Mother's Day. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a remake of a trauma movie. And let me tell you something. Trauma movies are not exactly Citizen Kane when it comes to movie. They're B campy movies. But I tell you what, when a trauma movie makes a big Hollywood glossy remake look sick, folks, you really need to start worrying then. Because I'm telling you, it's sad when our entertainment, you know, it's just not just our entertainment. But, you know, it's everything. Our politics, everything. The more stupid people are, the better. And finally, the last little story I would like to recommend for this is Citizen Kane's creator, Orson Welles. Back in the 30s, late 30s, early 40s, he did a radio show called War of the Worlds. And what this was about, an alien invasion. He did a radio show, a radio invasion, conquering the United States with poison gas and everything. And do you know, since half, uh, half of the people, they were all in the South, of course, came in on this show, there were hundreds of thousands of people panicking in the street, going into churches, praying to God, calling police stations, everything. They thought it was real. They thought it was real. They went and used their brains and listened to the whole radio program where Orson Welles kept announcing, 
It's a fantasy. It's a, it's a fake. You know, uh, today you think people would learn. No, they still fall for that same stupid crap with Fox Noise and, and you know, their entertainment. You know, it, it doesn't matter. So, you know, God bless you, brain dead America. You know, if we lose all our health care, if we lose all our freedoms, kids stop painting, they stop playing music, it's your fault. So go ahead, enjoy your garbage like the Hunger Games. I think I'll go watch Citizen Kane. Use my brain.